listeners to check it out now. Ho, 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 lee. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the curious case of why is tell. I keep telling you how this Rico case will end, man. Okay, pretty much you're going to get dragged on and dragged on. Okay, everybody going to claim they're innocent and claim they're down to go to court. But in reality, in actuality, by the time the case actually is supposed to hit trial, dudes are just going to take pleas. That's what happens in the criminal justice systems in these cases. Why? There's 28 people, man. A lot of people snitching, a lot of moving parts. And again, even if you are quote unquote innocent, by the time you get to the conclusion of a possible trial, you probably might as well just plea out to something very, very minor and hopefully get time served. Now, we knew that the, the trial was supposedly scheduled for January 9th, 2023, and the DA just put in a request for the trial to be pushed back, delayed until March 27, 2023. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yo, this is good for one one and thugger thugger because clearly, you know what I mean? It looks like the prosecutor ain't prepared if she wants to push back the case. Now, it's not the case at all, okay? In actuality, what's happening is that uh, there's 28 people being charged. 25 of them are locked up. 23 of them, are, uh, well, three of them, I mean, are on some bail or some type of out-of-jail situation. And of the 28 defendants, eight of them claim they don't got a lawyer, okay? Now, the prosecutor wants to charge everybody, they want to try everybody together, okay? Imagine going to trial and you got 27 other co-defendants. Come on, you think you're going to beat that case? Now, every defendant on the case is trying to say, nah, listen, I want my case to be separated from the bunch. Because some people are like, yo, hey, if I only sold some drugs, I don't want to be standing next to the dude who killed a cop, okay? I don't want that type of stuff to be influencing my fate. Now, Clearly, the DA wants everybody to be tried together, and the reason why she's asking for the delay, eight of the defendants claim they don't got lawyers, so now here's the thing. If they rush to trial, people didn't have what they call adequate counsel, right? And they're facing, like, many years, like some of them facing football number of years. If they get sentenced, they could get it overturned on appeal just off the reason of saying, Yo, we didn't have proper legal advice and we didn't have time to sort through all the evidence the state has against us, which means, you know, we didn't have a fair trial. So overturn it. So basically they are pushing it back that people could get lawyered up, that people could get uh, go over the evidence. And basically the uh, DA is saying we want to we want to try all y'all together all at once. And I'm going to tell you all the truth. If that happens, it ain't going to be good because the snitches are going to come out. They're all going to be telling on each other. And this is the reason why I think people are going to take pleas long before that happens. OK, once everybody realizes how many people are telling and who's telling on them, they're just going to just fold and say, I'm copying a plea. I'm good. Give me this amount of years. I don't want to go to trial because stand in trial with 27 other people. OK, how well do you know even 10 people, much less 27? OK, we'll figure it out, though. Get in comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe. Again, trial has been pushed back until March 27, 2023. And here's the thing. Thug already got three bond hearings. Don't look like he should have another one. So he's going to be sitting in jail until then. And Gunner has a third one coming up. If you don't get bail on this one, he possibly could be sitting in jail until at least March as well. Get a cop box. If you guys like them, subscribe to Academics.